what's up guys we are back and when i say we i'm talking about me and the hubster y'all <laughs> we laid out like this because we just came back from this italian restaurant which was <clears throat> not so good. not so good at all like the food was not seasoned um it just it was not good at all or whatever like we could have honestly missed our reservation for it and you know it was not I good i, I think the best thing was the wine <laughs> that we had or whatever um so if you ever come here if they try to get you a reservation for the italian restaurant you can most definitely miss it because you're not missing out on anything like good at all like especially if you're an italian and know or now you don't necessarily have to be an italian but if you are a connoisseur of Italian food. If you grew up eating it, if you know good Italian, I'm not saying I grew up eating Italian, but um, if you're a connoisseur of good Italian food, I, I feel like I've had some pretty good Italian food, you would be upset about what they served there. Um, I think the best thing was the lamb chops. They had, uh, we had lobster with pasta. Uh, the lobster tail was overcooked, it was dry. Um, I had mahi-mahi. It was decent. Again, there was no seasoning. They don't put salt and pepper at the table. I don't understand why they don't put salt and pepper at the table. You got this nice, big, elegant room. Uh, looks all fancified. With no salt and pepper at the table. As for pepper, he brought me back some um, some scotch, what do you, scotch bonnet pepper sauce, uh, which is like the thing. It's, and it's, it's, it, that stuff is good. Don't, don't get me wrong. But, you know, I just want some cracked pepper on my... Uh, on my uh, chicken alfredo. My chicken alfredo, it tastes like the chicken was boiled. Um, the cheese sauce, the uh, the alfredo sauce, excuse me, was it was just dusty. It was dry. It was, you know, it just, it was too, too, it wasn't creamy. Um, you know, it, it tastes like it might have, could have been boxed. Um, the mahi mahi, again, it just, lack of season. And then I get, you know, restaurants these days, you can't put too much seasoning on the food because you have people who, you know, uh, have high blood pressure, things of that nature. So you, but you let people season their own food, but they don't give you, like I said, salt and pepper at your table. And I'm not one to eat a lot of salt. So, but anyway, um, yeah, just, you know, the rum cake was, it was dry. It was not, you know, and I'm not a sweets person, so maybe a bad critic, but it was not great. Uh, we had tiramisu. It had probably about seven shots of espresso in it. Uh, so that's all you tasted. It's extremely overpowering. Um, yeah, like she said, the only thing that was good was the wine. The, the, the fried calamari was not fried. It, what you say? They they dipped it. They uh, did it's y'all. Yeah, it's like they played the peekaboo with the oil and <laughs> the calamari. It was like they literally put the calamari in flour and was like, "This is the oil. Here's the calamari." Boop, bye. <laughs> it was it was like peekaboo. You know, it was not like it was like it's like they could have used some panko, like the same breading that they used for the lamb chops. I feel like they should have used for the calamari. Um, and that would at least added a bit more of crunch to it, but um, it's just it was not given what yeah, it was supposed to give. Good. You know, God's, it wasn't good at all. God's um, honest review. Yeah, uh, from, no. From the appetizer to the to the dessert, uh, I don't zero out of ten. It probably was about a three. It was probably was we probably would have done better at the buffet. I mean. What what would you say as far as customer service? I mean, customer service was was, was pretty good. Um, I feel like, I mean, since we told the guy what we wanted from the outset, so you you pick, you don't pick your appetizer, and then the guy comes back out and asks you what you want for your entree, and then you know, then after your entree, ask you if, if you like dessert. You pick everything, you know, to start your night off. So you would assume that. You know, once you finish your appetizer, that your your entree would be ready to go lickety split, right? Especially considering you're getting, you know, chicken alfredo and and mahi mahi. Like it's it's it wasn't like fried or anything. It's just like, you know, that that, that doesn't take a long time to cook. Um, maybe the lamb chops 
would have took, taken the longest, but you had lobster, which they probably, they cooked that too long, like I said, and pasta was underneath the lobster. So it wasn't like they were cooking stuff for the entrees that take a long time to make. You would figure once you put your order in for your appetizer for the calamari, they would start the entree. But we probably waited a good, what, 15, 20 minutes yep. at least after finishing the appetizer. Not not saying that we were eating the appetizer and then they took it and then here, here comes our entrance. No, we, it was another 20 minutes after we finished our appetizers um, before we got our entrees. Uh, it may have been even longer. Uh, we was vibing though, so it wasn't really too bad because we were just sitting there reminiscing about going to... Uh, because the food, y'all, honestly, the food puts you in the mindset of like being on a on a cruise. If you ever been on a cruise ship, being on a cruise, and like the buffet on the cruise. But initially, we were thinking about how you know the main diner on the cruise ship. It was kind of like that um, on like Carnival specifically, because that's where we we got that experience. It was very very similar to where you pick everything at the start. And you only get a selection of about you know four or five different things, from the appetizers to the to the to the main course to your dessert, <laughs> and then uh, you know they bring it all out to you afterwards in in succession. But um, it, it puts you in that mindset in terms of like the quality, like just from the main dining hall. It's kind of like that. It may have not even been on that level. It's been so long. What year was that we went to? Um, on Carnival and had the uh, ate at that main diner. Um, it was twenty. It was like right when COVID hit. You saw when we took the kids. No, they hadn't been on Carnival, bro. Oh, so when, we when went they on Carnival, it we was had, because were the kids with us. Because oh, remember, we went twice. Because we went after we had got married or whatever, and then we went again the next year. So we. It was 2017, 2018. Right. So it was, that was what, five years ago. So it's kind of, kind of tough to remember. But I do know this after we had that main dining that night, we never went back. So right. that we were goes like, to show you what, what we thought about it. I mean, it wasn't stellar. I mean, it wasn't like, you know, it wasn't so bad you couldn't eat your food. Quite honestly, that'd be a zero, right? But, you know, it was probably on the level of like four, uh, you know, four, zero out of 10. It was maybe a four, you know, um, and this place was maybe a four or three. I would say a three just because of the fact that you didn't give me any salt and pepper on the table, <laughs> you know, and I asked for some ketchup. You act like you never heard of that. <laughs> so I don't think ketchup is big in, in Jamaica, but I asked for some ketchup, y'all, because I had some, uh, what do you have, what do you call it, russet potatoes yeah, or whatever? Yeah, russet potatoes. Yeah, so, you know, I just asked for some ketchup because I... You know, judging by how everything else was cooked, I figured it probably was a little under seasoned and I was gonna need to add some flavor to it. Quite honestly, some US flavor. You know, I mean, I don't know about Jamaican stuff. I wouldn't mind adding the Scotch bonnet pepper sauce, but anyway. Um Yeah, he was like, What are you gonna put ketchup on? I was like, <laughs> Don't worry about what I'm gonna put ketchup on. <laughs> yeah, first <laughs> off, second off, you know, put on my potatoes, but he was like, Oh, oh okay. But it's just like uh yeah, it just it's, it was not a great experience. Ambiance was was fantastic. It was it was not a bad ambiance at all. Um, like I said, it was we were able to dress relaxed, um, and it was a nice big room, um, you know. And it was it was kind of fancy. It wasn't super fancified, but we were able to dress relaxed, and other people in there were dressed relaxed. Um, you know, they said a dress code, but really it's not enforced too much, uh, which I think is good when you've got the beach just outside the door, you know, people go come in off the beach, been drinking like, Hey, you know, I'm not going to go, I'm not going up to the room and, and getting fancified for this, this meal here. Um, so, you know, I think it was kind of the ambiance for what they offered was probably higher than the. It's definitely higher than the food that they serve. So, but the food was. Yeah, it was a no. But I mean, we got to experience it on our own versus just going by what somebody else had told right, us. Because somebody right. else had told us that it was not worth, like, you know, really right. eating there. So sometimes you just have to have your own experience. Um, 
to see what it's like and it is it ain't what it is y'all but you know <clears throat> if you're ever here and you want to try for yourself just to see what it's like hey do you do mm -hmm. what you do because i but, think if we would have saw a vlog somebody vlogging that it wasn't that great we probably would have still tried it too just because of the fact that we got a you gotta get your own opinion. You know right. what I'm saying? You can't let you know, everybody else <clears throat> Right. And everybody's taste buds <laughs> is different. So, you know. Everybody has different taste buds. Everybody has different taste buds. So, you know, you know, go off your own judgment. But just in our personal opinion, we did not really enjoy it or whatever. So, you know, that's just what it is. That shit but, like movies. <laughs> I forgot about movies. Movies is like, you know. I think a Luby's is like the old people restaurant. Like, Damn. I never really liked Luby's. Comment down below if y'all like Luby's or remember Luby's. Luby's is like the. I mean, Luby's is like, like cafeteria food. Right, it's, times not, it's like it's not 10. bad. It's not bad. It's yeah, but it's just things. They can't really cook it, cook it. They can't right. cook it, cook it. They can't put really, like, put seasoning Season on it. It's right. just like. Just don't do it, Lubies. Don't do it. Just you know, one, shut it down. You, got, you know, people coming in there with all them different ailments. Right. You, you know, know and, and it'd be right on. It be it hit the spot for them. But for other people, it'd be like, what are y'all doing? Like, just stop. But they yelling. put salt and pepper at the table. Just it, for that reason. At least you got so some you salt and pepper. Right. You can do what you need to do. Like, fix it up how you want to fix it up. But this is how you going to get it from us. Now, you can go on. Do what you need to do at the table. But when you get it off this bar, this is how you going to get it or whatever. But anyway, so guys, we also have a butler for our room. And I just want to show y'all I was laying down because we need, like, they having this, like, all white party tonight. And we are going, it starts at 9.30, but we ain't going to get there until 10 o'clock because we need to lay down and rest. You know what I'm saying? You know, we need to let food settle or whatever. But us some champagne or whatever to the room so we got our little champagne or whatever and then i'll show y'all outside oh see what the vibes are giving or whatever so isn't that so pretty it don't look like anybody in the pools or whatever but this is what it's looking like outside Earlier, they had a wedding. Somebody had their wedding out here or whatever. So they had them, I guess they had them a little destination wedding or whatever, but I don't see nobody out here right now. But like I said, at 9.30, <clears throat> they're going to, to be having a, um, a all white party. So we're going to that. And then I'm gonna also show y'all what they, the butler had brought us that is free that we get every day. When I say every day, every single day that we hear, we get this free or whatever. So, so they end up bringing us these Lay's chips or whatever. I don't know if I'm gonna eat that, but I probably will or whatever. Be one of them nights, you know. Got the snackies, and then they brought some pretzels, and <clears throat> they brought. This Sangster's Original Jamaican Rum Cream. And then they also brought this um, Gold Rum. So we get this every day free or whatever. So they bought that or whatever. So <clears throat> we're about to go to, like they have this little gift shop downstairs or whatever. So we're about to go down there and... Um, I'm going to give me some flip-flops or whatever and whatever else that we need to get because they close. Oh, y'all, I was about to fall. They close at 9.30 and um, I just want to get some stuff from down there. But, you know, just want to see what they have or whatever, you know. So, I will see y'all when we get down there. Goodbye. Okay, guys, so we are now headed to the gift shop because I want to give you some flip flops and see what else they have. You have the card. 
Because we ain't going to be able to get back in nobody's room if we don't have no room cards. I know I am too. It's just like, woo! My stomach is poking, baby. Y'all look at him. He looks miserable. He just want to lay down. <laughs> he does not want to go to the gift shop. Hello. But I told him, I said, <clears throat> let's go to the gift shop now and then and get that the way. And then we can come back and lay down for a little bit and send a little party or whatever. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go now. And then we're going to go to the little um, white party or whatever. <sighs> Hello. How's it going, boss? Good. Have I told you? Oh yeah, he wanna sing. Have I told you you still Are you singing to me? Keep on singing. <laughs> oh y'all, I'm miserably full. I, I need a different, I need a, another stomach. We are headed to the gift shop. I think it's two different gift shops. <clears throat> or there may be um, one. I don't know. I to see. It's three? Yeah, just right here. Oh, you know, I thought that was tied with tied together with the other one. Yeah, no, right here. We got that white Hennessy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, see, get up the slides. I just want to run that thing for the shot for you. Thank you. This is some of the stuff they have. Inhale, pause, exhale, smile. I don't think they have slides. Oh, yeah, these ones. They do have slides here. It's a bit warm in here. So, some of the stuff they have. Some shirts. Oh, we gotta get bags. Oh, this is a cute bag. I like this bag. Definitely gotta get a bag. I got some cute little purses or whatever. My girls don't wear purses like that. But I do like this bag. I don't know. I'm about to get these. Oh, shoot. Huh? $35. She'll like what? Oh, that ball? This bag is cute. I just wouldn't use it every day. I don't want to pay $35 and then I sit it in a closet. Oh, I need one of these. Oh, I am so full. Let me see. Those are $30? Oh, let me not even take that. Oh, okay. I'm like, oh, yeah, huh? Person. On the stuff? That didn't even person. Or ask the girl. Oh, okay. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you want these? It's a flip flop. Uh -huh, I sure need some. Ooh, how much are these? <laughs> you hot? I don't know how much these are. Awesome. I don't know how much these shoes are. I know. There's no price on them. Uh oh, not that they got that Louis Vuitton. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they got that Louis Vuitton up in here. 
don't sleep on Jamaica and what they got over here. Are you gonna get some flip flops? Oh my bad. He, yeah, my husband is trying yeah, to because he he ready to go lay down. I do. Okay, Jesus. Okay, you gotta tell everybody. Tell the whole. World. How much are they though? Is this a? It's a size six. Baby, I can't do nothing with a six. Let me see what this. They got a ten. I'm recording now. So guys, their flip flops, because I was looking for some flip flops, was twenty dollars, baby. I'm not gonna pay. I'm not gonna pay twenty dollars for no flip flops. I'm not for sure what he said the way room was at. I'm not gonna pay twenty dollars for no flip flops. And I only need flip flops because I forgot to pack my flip flops for the shower because I'm very particular. I don't like to take showers in hotels without flip flops. I'm just that's just the way I am. My husband he brought his flip flops. His shower shoes. I forgot mine, but you know what? I'm gonna just use his. <laughs> I'm gonna use his. Cause. Uh, is that slots? You gonna play some slots? Mm-mm. You're not gonna take my money. My win big. My, but you know they play um the lottery is tomorrow. Oh, did we go in that store right here? Yeah. Oh, we need to go in here. You know, the her shot glasses were ten dollars, y'all. Shot glasses was ten dollars. I'm used to paying like a dollar fifty for shot glasses. Right. I, I don't I don't need you I don't need that shot glass for ten dollars. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, y'all. We're going to a different store now. Okay. Got some chips over here. Got some sodas if you're a little thirsty. Oh y'all, look. They have like this pineapple scotch bonnet. That's pretty good. $14 for these. They can keep it. Okay, y'all. They have some shark glasses in here. Let's see how much they are. I don't know how much that is. Ain't no price on it. These shark glasses. These shark glasses are cute. With a little bottle top at the bottom. That's, $10. That's real cute. I, mm. $10. Mm -mm. Damn. Just, I believe you. Like, we don't need to bet nothing, buddy. This is, you know. This is, yeah. And then, you know, they got some cups and stuff. And then they got some shirts. They got some shirts. Some sunglasses. Some necklaces. I'm just going to see if they got some flip flops for a reasonable price. They have no flip flops. Probably the same price. I like the color of this bag. This bag is really cute. I like this. But I don't want to pay a lot of money for a bag and I know it's just going to go in the closet. Let me see. They got some shirts, which we're gonna have to get some shirts for the kids. Yeah, I don't, I see some swim shoes. Yo, look at this doll. No more worries. The doll ugly. Okay. Yeah, so. Listen in here. So, who knows? Oh, casino. Now he was trying to find the gym. Cause he wants to go to the gym in the morning. I didn't bring my gym clothes. Um, he brought his gym clothes. Jewelry and the cases. If you're interested in buying some jewelry, look at that. That is a pretty bracelet, though. And then we got this watch. Got that. I mean, I'm 
I'm not buying no jerk. So. Um. Did you find out where it was at? Yeah, she said. The lobby is here. The lobby where? Oh, look. Look, they have it right here. Daily activities. Guys, on this thing right here, the daily activities of what's going on or whatever. So tonight is stars under the sun. Tomorrow is Sabado, um, tribute to Michael Jackson. Sunday is minute to winning. So yeah. My husband has went off and left me. He looking for the gym and that's not what I'm looking for. I'm ready to go back to the room now. <sighs> They have a cafe place where you can get like donuts and stuff. I did not know where my husband went. He left me. Oh my gosh. I don't know where I'm at. Okay, so we're gonna go back to the room. Oh y'all, this bracelet is so cute. That's a cute bracelet. Okay, so I don't know where my husband went. He just kind of went off and left me. Okay, 